Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this video I'm going to take a look at a little bit of a different variant of Control Shaman. This is Wyvern's list where I reach number 5 legend with this Control Shaman list and I played a bunch with this list and it was really a lot of fun. Overall there are enough statistics about this deck to make some evaluations of its performance and overall it's around 50% win rate deck so unfortunately it's not a great deck although it has some upsides specifically it is targeting three matchups it's targeting shaman rogue and warrior and if you're in a meta where you're facing a lot of shaman rogue and warrior and not so much stuff like druids or paladins and hunters then this deck can really shine it's a fairly defensive shaman deck, it just defends, defends, generates some random spells. And then there are a couple of tech cards in it. The Cobalt Sticky Fingers, steal your opponent's weapon, yeah, everyone runs Cobalt Sticky Fingers nowadays to counter shamans. Then there's a pair of Hecklebots in the deck, so that you can fight a little bit against stuff like ETC Warrior, you can get some of the combo pieces away from them maybe. And then there is an Archivist Deliciana, discard 5 cards, replace your deck with 2 copies of each. So that can help you sometimes go deeper into to your fatigue game or it can help you get something like a bomb warrior if you manage to find one and then you can just burn away the bombs from your deck. You may notice that there's also a lone Galagrond in the deck with no invoke cards whatsoever and I can confirm that that is really great in Control Shaman in general because just changing a hero power into making those two ones with Rush can make a huge difference over a long game. It helps you like, let's say you're facing a Divine Shield minion, you make a 2-1, you pop the Divine Shield and then you hack at the skin away the minion. That sort of thing, so you just fight against small minions on the board, or if you're up against another slow deck, then you're just constantly building up board pressure. So I think Galagrond in Control Shaman, even without any invoke cards, is rather indispensable. As for the mulligans with this deck, as with all Control Shaman decks, you're really looking for hack at the schemes. Hack at the scheme is... It's a card that I really have a love-hate relationship with, because it's sometimes a really good removal piece, but you have to draw it early. If you draw it late, it just doesn't do anything. So you really want to mulligan hard for Hagatha's scheme so that you will have them in your hand and you will have them there growing so that they're big enough to answer major threats when the time comes. Other than that, you're looking for stuff like Bulbra's Scoundrel, it's a pretty neutral way to open a game. Then Cobalt Sticky Finger if you're up against weapon classes, Devolving missiles if you're up against rogue so that you can take down those Edwin's questing adventures and that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also support the content that I create by joining as a member here on YouTube or join as a subscriber on Twitch where I livestream Hearthstone. And now, let's take a look at Control Shaman in action. I mean, it could be ETC, it could be Silas, it could be Cthulhu. It could be Enrage, it could be Bombs. So it's not Cthulhu. Well, I didn't really expect it to be Cthulhu. I just kind of hoped that it would be. Not because Cthulhu Warrior would be easy for this deck. It wouldn't, but because that would be fun. But I guess now we're stuck in the unfunness of it all. Is Totem Up even correct if it's ETC? Probably not. I actually don't think I want to tow them up if it happens to be ETC. If it's Silas... Oh, it's Bombs. Oh, that's special. I mean, I have an Archivist Deliziana in the deck. Well, against Bombs I can tow them up as much as I like. Makes no difference. Oh, I wish I had a sticky finger. Oh, I really wish I had a sticky finger. At the moment, I just don't have a whole lot here. I guess I'll torrent Crestino. I'm taking too much damage just from the weapon because I couldn't draw. Couldn't draw the types of tools. But I mean, I have Witch's Bruce in the deck. I have Elysiana. I have two Sticky Fingers. I have everything I need. If this warrior would just stop having perfect cards, and I would get some good cards too. But we'll see how it goes. 
I mean, it, you don't always win even if your deck is super favored. Like, I am super favored here. But, obviously, I haven't found any of the tools that I need for this matchup. Whereas the warrior has had plenty. This is a tough position. I think I need the far side. Let's see what I can pick up with that. I managed to pick up a horde pillager. That's not bad. Then I can try to make these minions a little bit smaller. And that works, succeeds as well. So far so good. I mean obviously this one is now going to get shield slammed. And I will have to coin the walking fountain next turn. And if Warrior happens to have Dr. Boom in hand, then that will probably just end the game. But if they don't, then I should still be okay. Okay, it's getting a bit closer than I had hoped. Especially because now there is a 1 in 7 for me to lose the game. No, because I have to be a walking fountain. That's going to heal me up a little bit and destroy a couple of those minions. Takes me to 10, feels a little better. Not much, but a little. If I could find, like, a witch's brew, I could play no taker with the witch's brew. Oh dear. That's crazy. Okay, that might win the game for the warrior now. Almost. Not quite, but almost did. I think I have to play the Walking Fountain here. A little bit sad about that, of course. Three bombs left in my deck. And Warrior has one more wrench caliber remaining. If they can find that wrench caliber, they will equip it, hit me in the face, I will steal it, of course. No! They will have multiple wrench calibers. Oh, that's so bad for me now. That's so bad for me now. Now I have to scheme this. And play a Wolper Scoundrel. I might die if I draw a bomb. One in five to die. It's one in five to die. We'll see how it goes. I really wanted a witch's broom. Alright, let's see. One in five for me to die here. A lot of card draw. Oh no, not the upgrade. This warrior is just too lucky. That is amazing. Even a super favorite matchup can be lost. Well, the other weapon is going to have tree attack. So I have to take that weapon and I have to look for Witch's Brew. I still can't find Witch's Brew. I could Frost Shock the Warrior to prevent them from hitting now. That would buy me a little bit of time. But the bombs are coming. I mean, Witch's Brew would have to be before a bomb. I have no other means. I have Tidal Wave. I have another means of healing. And it is one of these, so that I can keep the warrior frozen a little here. But then there's still one in, one in four to die. And only 1 in 10 to get Witch's Brew and win. Not great odds, not great odds. And of course, Tidal Wave would also prevent me from dying immediately. So there's that. I know the warrior has the other wrench caliber in hand, and it's a 3 tree weapon at the moment. Ah, the witch's brew. 
Could you repeat that? Delicious. I'll write that down. Do I go to 20 and allow the warrior to swing with this one? Or 16 and don't allow them to swing? I want to steal the other weapon. So 20 it is. 20 and allow the swing. I want to steal the other weapon when they equip it. Well, at least my Hagatha scheme is big enough to kill this board. So that's an upside. Eight cards in their deck. I can destroy all the bombs too soon. Okay, so this one is of course going face. And I will scheme away the board. It's just hero power now, right? Warrior will equip the weapon and hit me in the face. That will put another bomb into my deck. They have seven cards remaining. Please don't draw a bomb. I didn't draw a bomb. So I'm perfectly fine now. Yes, I'm perfectly fine. I just fix the warrior and I play the Elysiana and destroy all the bombs. Yeah, Alex is fine. Hmm. Beautiful. But I just wanted to give it a try. See how it works. Need to get some ideas from other people uh, sometimes as well. Although I build a lot of decks, of course. Well, well. Rogue kept everything and they have a spy mistress. Ooh, a little bit scared. I have like this note taker in the devolving missiles now. That I might end up using. Rolling the 1-1 one one was actually really good for me. 0-2 totem would have been useless, whereas that 1-1 one one now threatens to trade away the spy mistress, so now the rogue has to do something. And that's simply not fun for the rogue. Yeah, spending a coin just to kill 1-1. One one. That cannot feel good. I could turn these into wisps, but... I think this is a scoundrel time. Let's wear some pants. This witch is proof fast enough for the matchup. Will I have time to farsight? Yeah, indeed. Maybe I will find enough time to farsight. Give that a try. But Rogue did keep everything, so I am scared of the tempo. But that throwing away that coin was really weird. This is really weird. Weird stuff. I suppose I need to farsight here now that I have a chance to do so. I think I need to leave this board up like that. There's an underbelly fence in that. Is this Jumbra's Highlander rogue? I'm getting this sort of Jumbra ish Highlander vibe of this one now. That's just what I'm feeling. Could I scheme these away? I mean, it's 7 damage on the board. I think I kind of need to avoid some of that. Let scheme a little. Dirty tricks. I also wanted to play scheme into what I consider potentially a plagiarize. Because scheme is relatively useless for them. But that was tough. Maybe scheme was a mistake. 
because that card now is really good there. I'll need to Earthquake next turn. But I need to get this Hecalbot out there to protect me a little. That's not much, right? No Taker Torrent. I think that works. Let's torrent away the 3 6 taunt. Let's give that a try. Reduce the incoming damage a little bit. I'm really getting a jump rage Highlander vibe out of this one now. Really, really getting that Highlander vibe. So that's the Earthquake. That means that there's a... Was there a Dragon Queen in Jumper's deck? Can't remember. Hi, Les. Two cards that were kept since the beginning. Okay, that's one. Just a secret as the other one. I've already seen Dirty Trick, so is that the Plagiarize now? It could be the Plagiarize. Can I give Rogue a Hex? I don't really want to give him a Torrent, that's such a cheap, cheap tool to use. Maybe, maybe we can give them a Hex, maybe that's fine. We'll see if it's Plagiarize. It wasn't a Plagiarize, I really thought it was going to be a Plagiarize. So it's actually an Ambush, right? Spin like the suns, strike like the wind. All right, get ready to combo. I just hope they don't pick up any secrets or anything like that. Because I have the tidal wave. As long as they're not picking up secrets, then they would have to pick up like multiple eviscerates or something. To be a threat. We'll see how it goes. What do you think about Tigatus Warlock? It's pretty bad. I wished it was good, but it just isn't. Okay, so this is a tidal wave. Heal up a little. Rogue now got three combo cards and two mage spells. So Rogue ge randomly generated this entire hand, basically. I hope it's not an Antonidas. And more draw. This rogue is just going through the motions. I think I want to heal with the walking fountain here. So the secret is probably an ambush, right? Probably. Not an ambush. Is it really a bamboozle? This would turn into a six drop. No, five drop. This would turn into a four drop. I think I need to hit into that one first. It's actually a main deck bamboozle. Oh no! It turned into a yeti. Most four drops would die to the walking fountain. But that one doesn't. I'm a little sad of course. Could have prevented the spell draw from the Star Scryer. I was uncertain whether I wanted to. And I still believe this is a Highlander deck, so there's at least Zephyrus, possibly Dragon Queen. What are your ideas for budget decks? I haven't thought about them at all yet, but I will think about them at some point. There's no hurry. So Hanar, but there are no secrets coming right now. How big is my scheme? My scheme is big enough to kill the Hanar. So that's good. Okay, I can handle this. This is fine. But... What about the Dragon Queen? How do I handle the Dragon Queen? I need to hold back the Torrent, right? Hmm. 
I need to use this devolving missiles to get rid of the Edwin. I need to hold back the torrent. But Dragon Queen might be too much for me. Oh dear. That's a good one too. And that's probably now to plagiarize. Because I have a really strong read that this is a Highlander deck. Really strong read that it's a Highlander. It's the tidal wave. We play the card that also damages the rogue's own board. That's the card that's the most difficult for rogue to have use effectively. One mage spell, two combo cards. Then eventually Zepris. Okay, this has got to be the instructor turn. Let's see what we can pick up. Remember the studies is cheap. We play that. Squall Hunter. Maybe we pick the Vashi. Plague of Murlox. Could be a Plague of Murlox. Usually they become smaller. Oh, that's annoying. But I have this torrent that I picked up. I don't want to overload, so I guess it's the pavilion. And another tidal wave. Okay, this is acceptable. I mean, Fireheart sometimes is just really, really good. One mage spell, one combo card. There will be Zepris at some point. Rogue is far deeper into the deck so I can easily afford to play a far side here. Let's get a discover. Would I do an Eye of the Storm? That might force the rogue to play their Zepris, right? I mean, Earthquake doesn't kill the Dragon Queen board. Such choices. Maybe there's room for Eye of the Storm. Water is life. Just play it like this for now. Let's see what happens. Well, a randomly generated puzzle box of Yogg-Saron can definitely make a game interesting. It's for attack. It's tough. Okay. Okay, cleared the board. Fine. Got the random shaman card. Okay. <laughs> Freezing their own minions. It all seems okay to me. So this is probably a witch's brew turn, right? I don't want to risk dying to Zippers or anything. I got a tidal wave. What if I hero power tidal or heal for 9? I go to 21. This board will be gone. That seems acceptable to me too. Let's just heal up from those. Alright, so far so good, but it's been a long, long strange trip. So, uh, that was a main deck secret, and I've seen plagiarized Dirtrix and I've seen plagiarized Dirty Rook's Bamboozle. The ambush was randomly generated, so that's an ambush. Right? It's got to be an ambush. 
I can't let them have a one cost pyroblast, no can I? I don't really like that idea, no. I may have to just kill it. Alright. Dragon I think there is going to be a Dragon Queen Alexstras in that deck. I think there is, I'm not sure though. There's definitely a Zepress. I've seen the Flick, the Jandis, the Edwin, the Hanar. Oh! They just turned themselves into Jaraxxus. Now oh, that's interesting. And they still have the Zepress left. Well, I can take the Jaraxxus weapon. That's something. Well, broke the ambush. Exactly as predicted. Don't kill the ambusher. Yeah, I think I do. Let's kill it. Alright, so far so good. Yes, Netza, I have noticed you saving that several times. Why are you saving Sticky Finger? Because Rogue has been generating random cards, and I'm concerned that those random cards include weapons. And I want to steal those weapons from random cards as the game progresses. That is why I'm saving the Sticky Finger. <laughs> An acidic swampus. That's nice. Oh, that's everything the rogue has left. They didn't like those. Is the Dragon Queen Alexstrasza there? One combo card. Zepris has been used and Shadow Step has been used, so there's no way to bounce this Zepris back. Right? But these minions can be used to kill two of the Eye of the Storm minions. There should be no way to bounce the Zepris back. But if these attack and then there's the Dragon Queen, I use this, I'm overloaded by three, I can't Earthquake. And do other stuff. But I will have more minions. I can do Eye of the Stone. It's okay to do Eye of the Stone. I've seen the Flick, I've seen the Zepress, I've seen the Shadow Step. Okay. That took a while. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.